In this tutorial, I want to show how to fix animations on IES, especially on the first run. So we can go from something like this, when it's just a couple of frames, to something like this, when it's way more smooth. Let's see it again. So this is before optimization, and this is after. So result is way better and it feels significant, a significant improvement on real device. So what's the problem? The problem is well described on Flutter Dev as shader compilation junk. And uh, Flutter has a long-term solution to this issue with new rendering runtime for Flutter Impler. The problem is that it's still in development. It, it's not yet even available on Android, and uh, it's just development preview for iOS. So before this is stable, we still need to have we still have to deal with this issue by ourselves. Basically, what happens is that Flutter's runtime graphic runtime engine Skia has to compile some rendering commands when it sees it for the first time and it takes obviously time so this is not very optimal in order to fix this issue we can use something like uh, skfl warmup skia shader language and uh, there are two ways to do it manual one and uh, automated one first when i saw it uh, i was quite scary and didn't even want to deal with it I just thought that like in animations, it's not such a big deal. But honestly, when I tried it, it's very simple and uh, I highly recommend it for every Flutter app. Let's do this right now by ourselves. So what we have to do is just uh, run our app in the profile mode and uh, save our skier shader language uh, shaders in JSON format, and then we can build our app with this format. Important note is that this works only on iOS, and uh, Flutter team doesn't really recommend uh, doing this optimization on Android. Here is exactly why. I strongly recommend reading this article by yourself, but in this video, let's just preview the result and how it can be done. So we run our app in profile mode and with a flag cage sky fed. Let's do it. We will need to use real device for this. It doesn't really work with simulator, so I will switch the preview to my iPhone. Okay, so our app is on device, and what we need to do is try to trigger as many animations as possible. So we will go through the full flow, our onboarding flow, and that's it. Now what we need to do is press Shift M, and uh, as you can see, wrote SKFL data to Flutter zero to SKSL JSON. Now let's quit our app. And uh, what we can do now is just run Flutter run. And we can provide our SKSL JSON file. It's a bundle SKSL path. Let's just replace this to the new one. And let's switch back to our device. Uh, 
materiality. How our animations look now? Let's just close our app and open it again. And everything is way smooth, way more smooth. Now, the issue is that during application development, it's not always very convenient to do all this manual generation of this SKSL JSON file. So alternative to this is to do this with automated tests. And uh, this is described in documentation as well. So let's try this way as well. I already have my testing files. Oh, let me show this to you. I'll link a video in the description where we actually wrote these tests. It's quite simple. We just go from one screen to another. I will link a video where we create this and uh, you can do the same. Or you can write your own tests. Let's try this. So it's Flutter profile to catch SKFL and a flag to write SKFL on exit. So Flutter drive profile, catch SKFL, write on exit 01, integration tests. Let's do this. Let's switch our view on a device so we can see what's going on over here. Okay, this is our automation test. And let's switch to our terminal. As we can see, there is an output road SKSL data to Flutter 0, 1 SKSL JSON. This is exactly the file we need. And now we can use this file to build our iOS app or run it in a release mode. That's it. Thank you.